Good morning and welcome back to the farm. It's deer season. Camel, a little Tony Stewart going on there. As you saw in the last episode, uh, I went scouting some ducks. Went home made a duck call. Deer season's also on, so we are out here scouting some deer. I might go back and make a deer call. But today, Nate and I, Nate's down there, you probably can't see him. Uh, had the young buck carry the corn. So we put out 60 pounds of corn. I'm on my way back to the truck to grab some more camera gear because we're going to put up a uh, stationary blind. Well, decision time as to where we're going to put the ground blind. So, right here, we got our corn pile. Back here, we got the river. It's going to run all the way behind us. Now, one spot I'm thinking of is right up in here. It'll give me about a 14 yard shot. The other spot is back in here. There's a problem with that though. That's a 20 yard shot, not a big deal. But let me show you the difference. So I'll leave most of these weeds standing because they're quite tall. Some of them are up to six feet tall. This is my view. You see the corn pile down there. That's about 12 to 14 yards. You're either gonna come from the left or we walked up the path, bringing this stuff down here. Or they're gonna come from the right. This goes down for another 150 meters. A nice cut path. Option number two, but the, before I show you option two, what I like about this spot here is I can see more. I can see down the path this way, and I can see down the path this way. Now I'm going to walk down this path, so the chances of them coming down there are probably pretty slim. But I can see them from probably 60, 70 meters coming this way here. This gives me a chance to get ready. Option two, right here in this open part right here. A couple of issues with this spot right here. One, it's open. I've got no weeds in front of me. I can always take the weeds just to my left here and set the blind in there, which is not a bad idea. But what concerns me about this spot here is not the 20 yards, is that if I'm sitting down, you can't see the corn pile. Because there is a rise of dirt right here. So that concerns me a little bit. Am I gonna get a good shot? And the more I walk around here, the more I find a disadvantage to the first spot here is if I'm set up in here, I'm expecting the deer to come from this direction here. A slight head turn to the left, he may see me, he may see the blind, he may see something unusual. So that's kind of concerning in itself. Just found a third spot. So what I'm thinking is, option one, option two, option three is to clean out the center patch. That's gonna give me about a 20 yard shot. I think that's doable. Most of all, it's gonna give me the concealment that I need should they look a little left or look a little right. I'll be well hidden and off the beaten path here. All right, so Nate's made it back from the truck. I think we're gonna set the blind up in the open part here, then move it into the weeds. It's a lot easier than fighting with the weeds. Why don't you get yourself a hot coffee, have a seat, put your feet up, and get ready. I knew I should have brought my shotgun. About 300 geese just flew overhead. I could have shot from down here. They would have never seen me. Anyway, the blind that I got is about 6.6 foot. Sorry about the wind, guys. One main window in the front. I got another smaller window to the right. What I should have done was put the door, instead of at the side, put it to the back. What that would have done was give me the one main window and then two smaller windows. Lesson learned. If I find that's going to be a problem, then I'll just turn the blind a little bit and then away we go. I'm just too lazy to take all the stakes out and turn it. Make them back to haunt me, we'll see. So against my better judgment, Nate convinced me to uh, bring a rifle out here so he could shoot nothing. Uh, like I said, we are going to be hunting deer here. This will be the last time a gun comes out here, uh, other than shotgun season. So Nate better enjoy himself because no more guns 
the deer don't like guns. Although they may be climatized to it a little bit out here because we do shoot out here on a regular basis. So who knows? So Nate's gonna blast off some rounds. I'm gonna get stuff packed up. Then I'm gonna go look for some sign. All right, we are all set up. Line, corn. Just gonna go for a little walk. Nate's done shooting. Scared everything away that's here. Young guys, I'm telling you. We're gonna go for a quick walk. We're gonna go look for some uh, deer sign. Maybe rubs, scrapes, something to let us know they're here. All right, guys, there we go. That's just a little guy, but that means they're here. Let's keep walking, see if we can find something a little bigger. All right, guys, here's where I'm expecting they're gonna come from. This trail here runs down along the river, this way here, and it's all cleared out. They can go down there and drink, and they can bed down in all this tall stuff as well. So I'm expecting them to come down here and then make their way up the trail to the corn and to my blind. So that's the plan. All right, so I'm now on top of this hill. I see some tracks down here, but they're old. The one I just showed you looked like a, look at probably a first year deer. So he's kind of small. The problem with that is, is I don't want to shoot a first year deer. But when shotgun season comes around, everything gets annihilated. Personally, I don't hunt like that. Uh, I'm not looking for trophies. I'm just looking for meat. I'm not out to do anything like, I'm not out to just shoot whatever moves. All right, not a lot of luck on the sign. A lot of that can be due to the fact that we shoot here all the time. There's a few tracks here and there. Nothing major that I would like to see, but we're done shooting out here. So hopefully they start coming back. 